This is a book bull summary of the book 13 Things Mentally Strong People Don't Do by Amy Morin. Do you sometimes feel like the complexities of life are getting the better of you? That's probably because they are. Life isn't always easy and it's not meant to be. There are plenty of ups and downs and there are many hurdles that need to be overcome. However, part of successfully conquering life's hardships requires a certain degree of mental toughness. But how do you become a mentally stronger person? Surely that's a hard thing to accomplish in and of itself. Well, actually, it isn't at all. Author Amy Morin has 13 easy ways in which to improve mental resilience. Number one, replace self-pity with gratitude. It's easy to fall into a trap of feeling that life is out to get you and that you are fundamentally an unlucky person. Everyone feels like this from time to time, but it's important not to let this feeling become you. Amy Morin suggests replacing self-pity and a woe is me attitude with gratitude. And this can be a simple fix to a problem, subsequently making you a mentally stronger person. Morin says that the most effective antidote to self-pity is gratitude. She suggests making a list of things you are grateful for and even keeping a gratitude journal to keep yourself accountable. Number two, hold on to your power and learn to forgive others. It's easy for other people to get under your skin. It happens all the time. Perhaps you have an overbearing boss or a family member who likes to make rude remarks and jokes at your expense. We're told to have a thick skin in order to protect ourselves. But there is a fine line between having a thick skin and living through something that is making your everyday existence unbearable, something that Amy Morin is convinced that you have the power to change. Morin says that you can easily reclaim your power by clearly stating your boundaries. In time, the person who is ignoring your boundaries will learn to accept them, and you can forge a new relationship with them, one that is based on forgiveness. Number three, embrace change. Change can be exciting, but it can also be challenging. If you're changing career or even looking to improve your health and well-being, change can be a scary thing to contemplate. Change can happen quickly, and in this busy world, it is often results-driven. We are told that we must change for the better, but changing quickly can also come at the expense of personal growth. Amy Morin suggests that in order to become a mentally stronger person, you must break down your ambition into smaller, more reachable goals. It is important to enjoy the journey and not just concentrate on the outcome. And making notes and a solid plan for how you will reach your goals is just as important as achieving them. Number four, don't get distracted by things you can't control. Life is unpredictable and full of incidents that are unpleasant and out of your control. As much as you think you can control what goes on around you, In reality, you can only control certain things. Embracing the unpredictability of life is part of growing up and becoming a more mentally resilient individual. Amy Morin says it best when stating that mentally strong people develop a balanced sense of control. She suggests that if you are able to differentiate between the things that are in your sphere of influence and things that are not, then you will become a more rounded person. Number five. Don't always live to please others. Are you often referred to as a people pleaser? The term could be understood with negative connotations. Simply speaking, you have a hard time saying no. However, this underlying disposition isn't always a bad thing. It could mean that you are a generous and kind-hearted individual. But saying yes all the time in order to service other people's needs can mean that you are ignoring your own. According to Amy Morin, it can also lead to being taken advantage of. It's okay to say no sometimes, and it's okay to say yes, but Morin suggests that you take some time before answering to better assess that what is being asked of you can benefit you. Number six, take calculated risks. You've probably heard the phrase, no risk, no reward, and to a certain extent this rings true for some situations in life. But risk-taking can be a scary proposition. There is a big what-if attached to any risk, and failure is something nobody wants to contemplate. 
This, in turn, can make people averse to taking risks. Amy Morin suggests that mentally strong people counteract this aversion by taking calculated risks. They weigh up the pros and cons in any given situation and work out what the worst thing that could happen could be before taking on anything risky. If the risk to reward ratio is not in favour of the reward, then it's probably not worth pursuing in the first place. But you can only arrive at this conclusion by taking the time to think before acting. Number seven, come to terms with the past. We've all made mistakes. It's part of life and part of growing up, but time doesn't stand still. The past is something that everyone has and memory is a core part of being human. The past shapes us into who we are today. Every mistake you've ever made and every success you've ever accomplished have brought you here, to this moment. But that age-old maxim that you cannot change the past is true. You can't. Becoming a mentally stronger person is about accepting that the past is the past and moving forward, enjoying the present and the future. Amy Morin says that the first step to moving on from the past is acceptance. Acceptance is knowing that a past mistake does not necessarily have any bearing on your future. Use the past to stimulate the future in a positive way. Number eight, avoid repeating the same mistakes. Trial and error is another term that is frequently used to measure a successful endeavor. This is one of the more pleasant uses of terminology out there, as similarly to no risk, no reward idiom, it focuses on leaving your comfort zone and entertaining the notion that mistakes are a part of life. However, you must also be wary not to repeat the same mistakes. Making mistakes is a fundamental part of learning, and Amy Morin suggests that mentally strong people use their mistakes to nurture self-discipline. A mistake that is repeated can quickly become a habit, and part of being mentally strong is to iron out bad habits and replace them with good ones. Number nine, do not envy others' success. It's natural to be in a situation where you measure your own success against someone else's. We live in a competitive society, and if you enter a period of your life where you feel as if everyone around you is more successful than you, it can be a hard thing to shoulder. Feelings of envy, jealousy, and resentment can inspire you to be more productive, but they can also have a negative effect on your mental well-being. Amy Morin suggests focusing not on someone else's success, but on what success and accomplishment look like to you. Someone else's success is not necessarily something you would aspire to if you thought about it. And if it is, then why not learn to collaborate with that person? Always remember that success is not something that is universally measured according to one set of rules. Number 10. Do not give up. When on a journey, it is inevitable to slip up from time to time. Very few people have a smooth road to success. The road is rocky and full of holes to manoeuvre around. But being mentally strong is about moving through tough times and becoming resilient. Amy Morin suggests that when you are faced with resistance in life, then trying again is not just a good idea, but essential. She suggests that instead of giving up at the smallest inconvenience, you should become self-compassionate and be easy on yourself. Treat a bump in the road as just that and you'll move on from it. Number 11. Be comfortable being alone. Human beings are sociable by nature. Being alone is not a concept that many people are comfortable with, but being a social butterfly can be exhausting. It is important to take time for yourself and take stock. You may feel that social occasions are essential to attend, but there will always be more. Being constantly dependent on others to provide you with emotional support can be detrimental to success, and mental resilience requires a certain amount of knowledge regarding oneself. Amy Morin suggests making time for alone time, even if it's just once a month. You may be surprised by how much you enjoy it. Number 12. Move away from the sense of entitlement. Achieving a mentally resilient mind frame requires patience, as does achieving success in any endeavor. 
You may feel like you want to get from A to B in record quick time, but sometimes shortcuts are simply not available or attainable. Whether it's that promotion you feel like you are overdue, or even that you are owed a bit of luck in general, a sense of entitlement is not something that mentally resilient people have. Amy Morin suggests moving away from self-pity and towards humility. Being proud of your achievements thus far and working hard at getting to where you want to go is always better than taking shortcuts. Number 13. Realise that progress isn't always immediately apparent. We've already talked at great length about the notion of success and the personal journey one has to go on before success can be adequately quantified. But what if we thought about the journey as the success and not about the finish line? Progress and patience go hand in hand, and success is built on strong foundations. Amy Morin suggests setting yourself realistic expectations, and when doing this, small victories can easily turn into big ones. What's your most important key takeaway? Please comment down below and share the video if you like it. Thank you, and until next time.